It's a cold start. Looks like grass. But you do see it. My favorite mode right there. Trizac. But I've been driving more in, in sport. We gonna we gonna spare my um, my transmission. So we gonna drive a little bit more in sport now. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Beast Junkie 392, back with another one. All right, so today, what are we gonna do? What are we going to do today? So today, we are headed to the dealership again. Uh, so we're gonna do a car review. Another lovely day for a car review. It's nice out, I'm gonna close this. Uh, it's nice out, it's not too cold, not too hot. It's a beautiful day for a car review. Technically, this is like a Mopar channel. Everybody, you know, that likes Mopars, check it out. But I just want this channel to be inclusive of all things. But we're going back to Ortsman, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge. And again, I might have messed that up, right? <laughs> it's, the land is too long, but it will be in the description and it will also be somewhere. I'm gonna put it somewhere in here so that people can see it and, and read it right. I'm sorry. But they know that I'm, you know, loyal to, to them. And like I said, again, I am not sponsored by them, but I am loyal to how they do business. So for right now, how they do business works with me and how I appreciate people. So I'm gonna show them love, they show me love. Um, and in the future, if something comes, and like I said before, in the future, if something comes of it and transpires where we have a, a business relationship, more power to it. But right now, it's a casual relationship. Um, I, they know how much I love cars and of course it's, it's car dealership so we hope <laughs> that they love cars um, but we just gonna go out there we're gonna check some things out and I I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna review I have in mind what I want to review because it's not one of my favorite things to drive I, I don't necessarily really like them but it's worth the review right because other people may like it even though I don't like it too often, but so when we get there, I'll show you what it is. And I'm actually excited. I'm actually excited to drive it um, because I've driven some that were higher up and the ride was not the greatest. Um, but the feeling of being high up is really not my thing. I, 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 I like cars, even though, you know, but it is what it is. So, yeah, that's where we're going to the dealership. So come along for the ride. But I'll turn the camera back on when I get to the dealership. And again, I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell. Um, I appreciate all, all and anyone that is liking and watching the videos. And I appreciate y'all checking me out. And I'll turn the camera back on when I get to the dealership. So, we back up here at Dodge Orseman Jeep Chrysler. I know it's, it's not in order. I, I I did that the last time, but I, but I put it right inside the video. So, y'all see that. But they have an F8 green wide body scat pack. And those are not easy to come by. So, we're going to go ahead and show y'all what that looks like. F8 green wide body Three ninety two scat pack. Oh, but don't be tricked. They got another one, a silver one, and it's called the black top. So this is this how it comes with the the black hood and everything. So black wheels. Those wheels actually look really good. Um, let me see if I can get you my price. Let's see what we talk about here. Fifty four. 54. That's not bad. Let's see what's the difference between the two. Ooh, and they got the Alcatar in the middle for both of them. This one is 54 too. So it's pretty much the same exact package. So they both the black top got the black roof, black trunk. Yo, that sheesh. It's crazy. All the way black. 
Hey, the dealer, I ain't gonna, the dealer smoked this one. They, Dodge was smart with that one. Dodge was real smart with that one. So again, if y'all want it, come to Dodge Jeep Chrysler Austin Dodge. That look good. I'm gonna leave the drive to charge it, but it's another one. Again, he don't want to be on camera, but I'm gonna put him on camera anyway. It's all right. Oh, but so we are gonna go. Okay, it's I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be quite frank. I am about six three, six four, and the leg room, at least seat bars, I cannot move the seat anymore. It's not that bad, but it's not the greatest for me. But if you're about six feet tall, and this is this is perfect. Okay, this this will be perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, so this is the leg room. The legs, they're a little bent. But, like I said, it's it's doable. And because the seats, you know, all the Mopar products, the seats are bolstered, so I'm comfortable. But I do love the dash. Like, and I said another thing about Mopar, we already know they keep it simple, right? Everything is simple, but it looks good. Like, and a lot of times you have like you look at the bmws and all that i mean it'll be a thousand buttons but you don't know what some of those buttons do at least with these i know exactly what they do and i know how to operate them and i've never been in this car before i can look at every button and you know and know exactly what to do and that's that's simplistic but it looked good they did a good job of you know how they framed it the color so let's go on and take this drive i'll let y'all know how i think about it or what i think about it when it's when we're done because you know i'm not gonna drive and hold the camera and I'm not gonna ask him to hold the camera either. All right, so here it is. I got him again, brothers. I got him again. <laughs> Go on, tell him what's going on. So, if your Jeep, whether it's a Wrangler, whether it's a Grand Cherokee, is having a rocky ride, you have to make sure that your vehicle is in neutral, and then you check if it's in four wheel high, four wheel low, um, yeah, and two wheel high. So, once you do that, it adjusts the drivetrain because. This is meant to go through rocks, streams, sand, snow. So you wanna make sure that's in the right mode. And usually, if you're in a Grand Cherokee, it's easy because it has it electronically, so it's just gonna be an auto, which is the best place to keep it. But in a Wrangler, they're made to be more adventurous. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the car is in the proper gear. Yeah, so the reason why he said that is because I stepped on the gas and I was like, wait, what, what did I step on the gas or the brake? So it's, it's just the adjustment. So. I mean, it's smooth for it to be something that you can take off-road. The, the ride is smooth. Um, so, it, it's it's definitely, definitely something. I would actually drive this if I lived in, like, Cali. 
you know, take the top off and, you know, somewhere where it's warm. So, in Virginia, this is probably amazing in the snow. What you think? Oh, yeah. yeah it's probably amazing in the snow. So, uh, that's, 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 that's so far. I mean, I like it. And, and like I said, I'll let y'all know at the end. Um, once we all done, I'll let y'all know again what I really think about it overall. Um, like throttle response and things like that. So, I'll be back with you. All right. So, I think I found out what was the issue. And I'm going to show you really quick as to what it is. I got big feet. I mean, I guess they big feet. Okay. Whatever. But, so right in here, pedal is smaller than most pedals. As you can see inside. That's not a really big pedal. So I was hitting up here versus, you know, pushing on the pedal down here. So that was a mistake, but I think all this also part of it is because my legs are also long. So you just kind of got to adjust for that. But overall, I mean, the ride of this car or truck, I mean, it was smooth. Like I said, I, I, I enjoyed it and I'm not even a big Jeep fan, but this one, I mean, if it snowed here enough, I would have to trade my Durango in to come get this. I'm lying. But I would definitely get it if I if I really needed it. But it looks good. And I, I'm telling you, in the in California, if you could just go ahead and pop these off. Like if you just go ahead and pop these off. Let me show you. Those oh he gonna show us he gonna he gonna do it for me because this is that guy. Oh we, we ain't gonna get him to take it all the way off. We ain't gonna, I ain't gonna make you take it all the way, brother. Mm -hmm. But, oh, it's a three so, I mean, you take those off and pop those off and you just to go. Sun, everything. So I really like this. This this one is, this is this definitely a heavy hitter. So again, if you want this car or that wide body F8 green, go ahead and right here. You come right here to this place right here. Osman Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. Alexandria, Virginia. It's right off of Way. You see, this is right off of Richmond Highway. That's right there. So, um, I appreciate y'all checking me out. And like I said, I'll give y'all a little bit more as I vlog on my way to the house because I'm tired. But I'm gonna do that. So, plus I'm gonna get all his information. I'm mean, matter of fact, I'm gonna get him right now. He don't want to be on camera, but I'm gonna get him to tell y'all right now since he's already been on camera. So give him your information so they can check you out. Obina Victor, you can just give me a call or shoot me a text at 301-237-9316. Yes, young dude out here working and grinding and you can never beat that when you out here trying to make your money the honest way. So that's all we about. I appreciate y'all watching your boy Beach Junkie. You see it on the hat, Beach Junkie. I appreciate y'all. All right, so I could have, um, you know, cut the, cut the video at the dealership but i felt compelled to turn the camera back on and talk about the, the young man obi who helped me out um but i did want to keep this video short because the last video i did <laughs> that was 30 minutes straight that was that was a a sitcom um it actually it was longer than a sitcom because sitcoms have commercial i literally gave y'all 30 minutes straight no chaser but that's way too long for youtube and you know keeping people's attention span and actually people watching the videos but i did want to turn the camera back on for him um the young man Obi is 23 and I commend him for in the middle of COVID going out and getting a job. Is it his dream job? No. He he's doing music and you know directing one of you know edit videos and directing and stuff like that. So to do that at 23 um, and go out and hustle still and to earn a living, to make money, to take care of yourself and whoever else you know he's taking care of. That's, that's amazing, right? Because you see so many times, especially they'll tell you the stories and it's not, I'm not trying to make this a black or white thing. He just happened to be black, right? But they'll tell you the stories of these young young people out here not doing anything with their lives. So a 23 year old in the middle of COVID, rather than sitting at home where he could have collected maybe an unemployment check or collected some benefits or whatever the case may be, decided to go out in the middle of COVID rather than playing video games and go out and get it, right? Go out and earn himself a living even though it's not his ideal place of where he wants to be right now so i respect that and i'm going to commend him for that and i definitely wanted to praise him and give him his flowers while we're here because too many times we'll see people doing good and we don't really tell them 
you know, so speaking positivity to him. So I'm wishing him nothing the best. And every time I go back up there, um, like I could just go straight through the manager. But every time now I go back there, I'm gonna go through him to do all this. I mean, he, you know, I mean, as you can see, he was moving cars um, for me and, you know, popping the hood and opening the doors and doing all that stuff um, that he didn't have to do that I could have done myself. Um, he took the ride with me and everything. So I appreciate him for doing that and taking the time out uh, of his day to do that. And that's at 23. So you, it's hard to meet people that young that are that humble, hungry, and want to do something right with themselves. Um, so I, again, I commend him. And if you guys are in the market for a used or new car, um, and it doesn't have to be a Jeep, a Dodge, or a Chrysler, go out and check them out. Now, if it is those products, we support all Mopar products around here. But if it's those products, great. If it's not, go out and again, they sell used cars and they get, and they have great pricing and, and they take care of you and treat you right. That's why I am, my, again, my relationship with them is what it is because they treat you right. Uh, so like, all his information will be in the description. He did give you, um, you know, all his information in the video, but I'll put it in the description so you guys can find him if you are compelled to do so. But again, my brother, I appreciate you. If nobody has told you that, um, especially working with them, I appreciate you. So thanks, thanks again. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to get them notifications of when I post a video. And thank you to anybody and everyone that is watching these videos. Um, it's done with, with a lot of like, I'm, I'm excited about doing these videos. Um, one is just like a passion. Cars are just my passion. They've always been my passion since I was a kid, pushing, pushing them around. So I, I definitely appreciate y'all for watching, and 